one thing that is very clear is that the Nigerian economy or the Nigerian state is not an island unto itself. And that when we plan and in implementing public policy, we must take cognizance of what is happening in the global environment. For instance, it is significant that about 90% of our revenues come from oil. So we produce the oil, but we sell it overseas. And then there are a lot of factors overseas that impact and influence the cost of oil, right? Um, it then means that in producing our oil, in managing our resources, we must take consideration or we must give consideration to these global um, to this uh, to this uh, global uh, environment. The other thing that struck me is the need for us to be prudent, prudent in the management of our resources, because if we're not prudent in management of our resources, the resources that we're most dependent on is a wasting asset. Is a wasting asset. Uh, asset. Thirdly, that unless you make investments into that key sector from which we get all our resources on a continuous basis, you will ultimately lose those earning opportunities. Fourthly, there is a need for us to encourage the adoption of public policies which are competitive. Again, because Nigeria is not an island unto itself. That 20 years ago or 30 years ago, you were probably the only one in the, on the west coast of Africa with such uh, with an abundance of oil resources. Today, the game has changed. Okay, Sierra Leone has oil. Liberia has discovered oil. Okay, uh, down there in Namibia, in Cameroon, in Tanzania, in um, Mozambique, Angola. These guys now have oil. And so clearly, the kind of comp uh, you know almost monopoly that you had 20, 30 years prior is no more there. And so, in setting your regulatory policies, your economic, po your policies for the management of those resources, you must take cognizance of the changing global political environment, economic and political environment. And um, to the point I made, it is not just the responsibility of government to put in place these policies. It's also the responsibility of citizens, the private sector in particular, to understand that as economic actors and operators, that they must do everything that is necessary within their powers to influence, to help to shape public policy. Not to do so will be to lose the moral right to lament, to complain about one thing or the other that may not, which in their view may not be good. And so we are pushing for the deregulation of the entire economy as a way of tackling corruption, as a way of tackling uh, rent-seeking, as a way of, uh, of dismantling the patronage system. That is what we are pushing for as the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, which I head.